Hi everyone, Wilson from O Creations coming to you today with another Shape Card Saturdays. Today we are making a Memory Dex Shape Card instead of a Greeting Card. Let me just go ahead and get started. The design numbers that we are using today is 113890. Let's go ahead and put that in. And click search. And this is... Um, it's called on here rotating file system and so we will be grabbing that I already own it so you will see it on my mat and then the other design number will be 9870 and we got a pair of red bottom shoes I already own it go ahead and purchase yours and let's go over to the design space now um, as you see I have my red bottoms up here but this is how Th it comes to you. So I want to show you how to put it together. Um, let me show you exactly what it's doing. If you just take this apart or take this, that's how it comes to you. You have to actually put this together. So let me um, undo those moves so that I can show you how to do it. Um, let's just kind of sort of draw a box around just those images right there so I made sure I got this in there that in there and we're gonna move these shoes up and we're gonna click group and then let's move this up and out of the way as well as this oops sorry about that let me plug in my computer didn't realize how low my battery was sorry about that there we go. All right, and then let's move this out of the way. And this does the same thing, it has a lot of more pieces. But we're gonna go around and just put a box around everything. And we're gonna click group. Um, now they, doesn't, they don't have, um, they haven't made a compound path on this. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna add color to this. Um, the, the top layer of the shoes will be black, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to put that in black. All right, so those both of those are black, and as you see, I mean, I, 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 I'm almost certain it'll cut out, um, but um, I just want to make sure that it does. So let's click on that, right-click, and make a compound path. And we're going to do the same thing to the other one and right click and make a compound path that makes sure that everything is in its right place. It's going to cut out as one piece. All right. And then we're done there. And then what you will need to do is to put everything together. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's move this down here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. You're going to put everything together as close as possible you can go ahead and add color to that as well if you'd like and the only reason why I say put everything together because we want to make a border around this and so everything needs to be together I'm trying to add color to that little bitty oops I shouldn't have put it together yet okay there we go let's add color to that um, we want to make a border around everything so let's go ahead and put this one together as well I'm gonna move this over just a hair because I'm gonna need to group that once I put it together so it's just easier if it's out of my way already but if you can't see it very good click this one with that little thing and drag it over and it'll zoom in on just on that one piece so you can really see what you're doing all right and the reason why I say to get it as close as possible and I'm actually noticing this one wasn't that good so let's get that as close as possible and the reason why I say that is because you want everything even and once we put a border around it you want to make sure everything sets in there correctly let's change this bottom if I can 
to red. All right, and I think that looks pretty good. Let me move it just a hair. All right, let's zoom back out. I think that looks good. All right, let's try and just group this, this together. We're going to group that. And now we can move that freely, and we're going to group this one. And now we can move this freely. And let's go ahead and let's just bring this to the front. It's behind right now, but we want that all the way in the front because this is going to layer like that a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and zoom back out just a hair more. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and group this. Okay, so that's all put together. Let me go ahead and come down to the star, which is your offset key, and click offset because we want to make a border around it. And there goes the border. Well, let's leave that there for right now. And actually, I'm going to scale this down because it's kind of big right now. I'm just going to scale it down to as close as four as possible. And um, this comes in two separate pieces. So let's go ahead and just put a box around everything and we're going to ungroup this. And let's take out these bottom ones because we're not using those. So we'll just delete that. And I did change the size of this a little bit. Um, I moved it up to almost four. And now what we're going to do is just slide this right over. We can actually move this top piece and we can move this out of the way too. Um, the person who I created this memory dex card for wanted it wanted um, she wanted it to be four by four so which is why I moved it. I'm actually hoping that this works. I did kind of measure it and it didn't look that bad. So um, before we actually weld, let's duplicate this top image first uh, and move this over. Okay. And now you're going to just kind of center everything. Let me zoom in a little bit. You're going to just kind of center everything the way you want it. And let's draw a box around it and see how tall we have it. That's 3.820. Um, and down here is 4.029. Um, you can actually just um, leave that. I'm going I'm to leave it there for right now. I don't want to resize mine. But if you go and resize, just remember you've got to group you got to pull everything in so that you can have um, the correct size for everything. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to leave mine there because this is just a tutorial just to help, help you a little bit. I'm going to delete these out because these were just to show you how those shoes looked. All right. And so now I deleted out that other piece, but we're going to duplicate that again. At least I don't see the other piece right now, but I'm going to put it to the side. Now we're going to just position your shoes the way you want them. And now we're going to group and click weld. And so that is our shaped memory dex card. This will be the top layer. We're almost done. And um, what I did was I duplicated this two more times and then um, I just kind of you know set them on my mat so that I can get ready to cut them out I could I duplicated it three more times so that it can be nice and sturdy when I go to uh, glue it together and you can use your own glue what you choose to I like liquid glue it makes it a little bit more sturdy to me and so that would just lay on the mat like that you're going to go ahead and duplicate this twice and that will be one for the back side of your memory dex card to add your information and the other one for the front of the card and this is just to you know if you're going to send it out off to a crafty buddy and you can put all your information of what you like your youtube channel and all that 
Okay, and so that is about it, I do believe. So you would just cut those out, leaving one blank to add your information, um, and then uh, the other one for the front of your card. Now, what I did do, I changed my color, and I'm just going to kind of get you like a fill pattern. Uh, mine was black and white, and let's do this. And so... Yeah, let's just move this so I can just kind of show you how it would look. Let's bring this to the front. And just kind of layer everything up to show you how it, look, how it looks. This I had in gray. Let me go to the fill pattern here. So this I had in gray. This is my checkered pattern that I had. And then you would, um, this would be gray as well. As you would, let's move this to the front. Mm, bring to the front. I didn't have the right color. Let's make that the same color. Okay. You would put that there. And then bring this to the front. And put, you know, layer everything up. It'll be a little a little tedious layering your um, your red bottoms. But not that bad. And that's pretty much how it looks. Let me show you my card and how it turned out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, as you see, I added a little extra bling on mine. And this is actually uh, using some um, sparkle pen. And I added that on there. I glossy accented the sunglasses. And those are dyes. Um, and th this is dyes as well right here. But yeah, that's all. So thanks for much, so much for coming back for another Shape Card Saturday. You all have a blessed and crafty weekend.